Hey guys, this is Landon from Redefine Horizons, and this is a video that's going to show you how to set up proposals here at my shop. I am doing this video for my project coordinator, Emma. So what we have here is our proposal request form. We are supposed to fill this out when we want a new proposal. So it's got three sections, basically some information on the proposal number and the proposal name and the client, who's the client, the contact of the client, the date. Then down here, down here we've got some optional things that could be included in the proposal. So things like a cover letter, a copy of our agreement, a copy of our rate schedule. And then down below here, uh, we let the project coordinator know what tasks we want to include in the scope of services. Uh, so. We'll, We'll put those in there. We'll put the name, number, and name of the task, and then let them know: is it required, optional, alternate? Is it lump sum or TNM? These are all going to be lump sum. Okay, and so there's two pages there. We don't usually use the second page, but we have a second page if we need it. So I went ahead and filled this out, but I want to um, I want to walk through this um, because I got to I got to stink and train Emma, retrain Emma every Monday. So. She'll be able to just watch this video and see how we're going to do this. So I'm going to pull this over to my other screen for now. So the important thing we want to know uh, to start is the proposal number and the name. Because what we're going to do first is we're going to create the proposal folder. So that will give us a place where we, we store everything. So I'm going to open that up here and we'll cruise over there. So we're going to go to, in my shop, we keep proposals in business development, proposals. We sort them by year, so I'm going to go into the current year, and we will, oh, we're not going to just make a new folder, though. I'm going to open a new tab here. We have a template we can use. So we're going to go to RH, templates, RH, mm, proposals, and we're just going to copy the folder that says template. Okay, and we'll paste that in here. Okay, and then we're just going to rename it, and we're going to put the uh, proposal number first. So in this case, it's 2023-19, and then the name. So this is Port of Stockton, Birth 8. And then we usually put the city or the county there. Okay, so we've got our folder now, so that first part's done. Okay, so that's what we use this information here for. Okay, then we're going to go down and copy over the files we need. So that's where we're going to look at this section request option. So I know I need a cover letter, an hourly rate schedule, our agreement, and the plain language summary of the agreement. So most of those things are also going to be in the proposal template folder. Okay, so the first thing we need is the cover letter template right here. We also need the plain language agreement and the summary. We grab the Word doc of the actual agreement. The summary is a PDF. We grab that. Okay, and then we need our scope of services template. So those four things. Okay, we're going to copy those. And in here, they're going to go in proposal docs for client. Okay, we'll come back and work on those in a minute. Okay, now the other thing we need here that is the, so it's really one of the only things that isn't in that folder is the hourly rate schedule. Okay, so that we keep in RH, business admin, money management, hourly rates. And we're going to grab our 2023 rate schedule. And we'll drop that in the same folder. Okay, so it's going to go in proposal docs for client and we will paste that in there okay now we're going to come in so we've got all the docs in there okay but we're going to just come in and, and clean up a couple of the docs just makes it easier for the surveyor so we're going to open the cover letter okay and we're going to put the name of the proposal here so this is port of stockton Birth eight improvements, Stockton, and then we can put the name of the client. So this is for Rose McClure. She's our contact of the client. Okay, and then we can come down and update this footer too. So this is proposal for 
Stockton birth eight. Sorry, it's Port of Stockton. Birth eight improvements. Okay, we'll put the proposal number in here. So this is 19, okay. So that's set up. We don't need that extra page probably. So the surveyor can come in and tweak this as he needs, okay. Or she, he or she can do that, <clears throat> okay. So the cover letter's done. Now I like to rename this for the surveyor. So 20, 20, 19 and this is just called CL for cover letter same thing here on the scope this is going to be 202319 SOS okay we're going to open up the scope just make a couple quick changes in here for the surveyor so we'll put the proposal name so this is port of Stockton we're going to put this in all caps Stockton birth date improvements Stockton okay and then uh, we can make it not red let's just let's just match properties <clears throat> okay and then we can fix the footer on this as well and okay, so this is proposal for board of Stockton birth Eight improvements, Stockton. Okay, put in the proposal number and the current date. And we want to make that black since we changed it. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add the task that the surveyor asked for. So that's in this last section, the third section. So the surveyor here told us that uh, they want three tasks, utility locating, utility mapping, and survey control for construction. And this task three is going to be optional. So where we're going to find those at, we don't want to write those from scratch. So if you go back into the proposal folder under templates, we have a task library that we try and keep up to date. So we're going to open that. And so we're going to go down to the utility section. Okay, so uh, here's the, uh, let's see, I want to see if we have a, yeah, so this is it here. So it's going to be this task here. So we don't make any changes to this. We let the surveyor do that. Okay, but we're going to, we're going to paste it in here. Okay, and we know he told us that's going to be task one. Okay, and, um, and so actually, uh, we, we have a, uh, the surveyor asked for that. He wants the locate to be broken out, the map, the utility mapping and the locate to be broken out. So I'm just going to copy that down and we'll say underground utility locate, locating. And so he, he can go in or she can go in and edit those. And then the, the last one is uh, survey control for construction. So that might be up in the beginning here. Yeah, so it's this task here. So we'll copy that. Okay, and again, we're not changing any of this other than the task number here. We're going to let the surveyor do that. We're just getting this set up for him. Okay, he didn't ask for any other tasks, so we can we can go in and delete 4, 5, and 6. Okay. And we're going to... Um, So one, two, three. So that all looks good. So I think this is uh, this is about as set up as we can get. So the surveyor needs to come in and do the rest of this. Okay. Um, if we wanted to, we could come in here and just clean this table up a little bit. So we know we know that he only wanted uh, three tasks, and then uh, we can. He told us this was going to be optional, so we can say optional task three here. Save that. Okay. So we got the scope set up. Okay, so we basically worked our way through that through this form. 
Okay, so um, that's a, that's about everything we need to do to get the surveyor set up for the proposal. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And so just as a as a refresher now, the surveyor has a proposal number, and he's got everything he needs, all the docs to start with under proposal docs now. We may also ask the project coordinator like Emma to just go ahead and do some basic research, flood map research or boundary research that will go in here. Okay, um, But I'm not going to show you that in this video. So this is set up and ready to go. We don't typically uh, build time to proposals here like they do at some of the larger companies. So we don't need to do anything um, in our time tracking software um, until <laughs> until uh, the proposal turns into a job. So that should be everything we need to do. Emma? I hope this video helps you.